Kitzmiller v. The Dover Area School District The case of Kitzmiller v. The Dover Area School District calls into question the idea of teaching purely evolution in high school science classes. This case originated in the small rural town of Dover, Pennsylvania. In 2002, a man named Alan Bonsell was elected onto the Dover School Board. He made public the fact that he believed in intelligent design, and in a board meeting on June 7th of 2004, Bonsell made objections about the current biology textbook and said that Dover High School should switch to a text that had more focus on intelligent design. Allen and other supporters on the Dover School Board stated that it was not fair to use only a textbook that says man descended from apes with nothing to counterbalance it. Allen believed that intelligent design was factual and a scientific idea that should be taught in Dover High School. He stated that it was his goal, and should be the goal of the whole school board, to enhance the science education of Dover's students. He argued that the policy was a modest change. He was not proposing that the teachers should stop teaching evolution altogether, but rather that they should teach it along with intelligent design. He distanced the policy from alleged statements that incorporating creationism into the school's curriculum showed a clear religious intent. Allen argued that the policy did not have a religious agenda. On October 18, 2004, the school board voted 6-4, to four, resolving that the teachers of Dover High School must teach lectures focusing on intelligent design as well as evolution. They chose to use the textbook entitled Of Pandas and People as their main reference for intelligent design. It was decided that the following statement should be added to the biology curriculum. Students will be made aware of the gaps and problems in Darwin's theory and of theories of evolution including, but not limited to, intelligent design. Because Darwin's theory is a theory, it is still being tested as new evidence is discovered. The theory is not a fact. Gaps in the theory exist for which there is no evidence. A theory is defined as a well-tested explanation that unifies a broad range of observations. Intelligent design is an explanation of the origin of life that differs from Darwin's views. The reference book of Pandas and People is available for, for students to see if they would like to explore this view in an effort to gain an understanding of what intelligent design actually involves. It is true that the theory, of, as true with any theory, students are encouraged to keep an open mind. The school leaves the discussion of the origins of life to individual students and their families. Allen and the five other school board members that voted in favor of this idea emphasize that the statement does not exclusively teach intelligent design, but makes the students aware of this alternate viewpoint. On December 14, 2004, 11 parents from Dover, Pennsylvania sued the Dover School District over the school board requirement that said a statement presenting intelligent design must be added to the curriculum and read in front of the biology classes. These parents argued that promoting intelligent design in a public school was unconstitutional and a promotion of religion. They said that incorporating creationism into the school violated the separation of church and state. A federal trial began on September 26, 2005. The judge in this case was John E. Jones. The trial continued for 40 days. On November 4th of 2004, the court judged in favor of the parents from Dover, Pennsylvania. It was decided that intelligent design did in fact stem from a religious viewpoint and therefore was not in keeping with the idea of, sep of the separation of church and state. Judge Jones stated that teaching the theory of intelligent design in a public school violated the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States and Article, 3, Article 1, Section 3 of the Pennsylvania State Constitution. Jones said that because intelligent design is not an official science, it cannot be uncoupled from creationism and is therefore a religious idea. In the Dover School Board election of 2005, none of the members of the board who voted for the intelligent design policy were re-elected. This case has had long-lasting effects on the United States education system. Today, there are still many people who wish to incorporate more theories that discuss the origins of life into the public school curriculum. Many people believe that it is only fair to present both evolution and intelligent design as likely theories for the origin of life. It all comes down to whether intelligent design is a scientific viewpoint or tied to religious belief. In my opinion, it is both. I believe that intelligent design gives a great explanation for the complexity of life on Earth. On the other hand, I cannot deny that I believe in intelligent design because it is a religious conviction. 
As a Christian educator, your hands really are tied. Legally, you cannot teach creationism in your classroom, and you cannot even teach evolution as just one of the examples or explanations for the origin of life. Although this can be very frustrating as a Christian educator, we need to realize that God wants us to listen to the authorities that he has put in place over us. We can also take comfort in knowing that there are other ways to show the love and truth of Christ that are legal in public schools. The best way to show Christ is by acting in a Christ-like way. If you treat your students with love and compassion, it will point them towards the Creator and Redeemer.